My name is Walter Drescher, and I am co-owner of Alley's Donuts Incorporated. My name is Matt Drescher, uh, and I'm a part of the Alley's Donuts family. My grandfather, Alley, uh, opened it up in June of 1968, actually. It was right on this spot, right off of Route 2, and when Route 2 was the only way to get down into the southern part of Rhode Island. My, my grandfather's first name is uh, Fred, and his middle name is uh, Alvin. And he, uh, him and all of his, his brothers and sisters had a baseball team and he used to play baseball a lot and he used to be called Allie on the field. So his nickname was Allie and, you know, why not just name it after yourself when you're in it? My wife and I bought the business June 1st, 1986. I started working at Allie's April 1st, 1977 just to help out the family. And I worked for nothing for about a year. And then Allie asked me if I wanted to get paid for doing what I did. And that was, if I remember right, it was uh, 95 cents an hour back then. I can't remember when it, this place wasn't busy. Everything that you buy today, we made 48 years ago. One thing Ali told me a long, long time ago, he said, people hate change. So keep everything the way it is and you never have to worry about the next dollar bill. And that's all I've done. And we just get busier and busier and busier. There's only three basic types of donuts. There's a raised donut, an old-fashioned plain cake donut, and a chocolate cake donut. And then from there, you glaze it, you frost it with different frostings, you put different colored chimneys on them, uh, different types of frosting, and that's how you get your varieties. As soon as anybody finds out that doesn't know me that I'm actually Alex Donuts, I become the celebrity of the evening, <laughs> which is kind of funny because I'm only doing what my father-in-law taught me to do, and that's just make donuts. People love us so much, it's, it's like we're part of their birthdays, and we're part of their weddings. And when we have to ship them to like California, that usually makes us smile because it's, you know, people will wait a couple days and pay a hundred dollars to get shipped out there, which is pretty present. The best part is when you're somewhere else and somebody says, oh, Rhode Island, oh, hey, you're Alley's Donuts. Uh, it's all handmade products. See, that's what most people don't understand. We've got, right now, I think 56 employees full and part-time and a little mom-and-pop store uh, making everything by hand from scratch, pretty much. So, you know, customers don't understand that, you know, it's not frozen product, you just throw it in an oven and bake it off like a cookie. This is made from scratch every day. It's a three and a half hour process from start to finish on most donut cakes. Uh, so how many donut cakes can you make in, a, in an eight hour shift? You know, think of that, you know, and then still have donuts for your customers by the dozen. We average between 600 and a thousand dozen a day. It's a lot of product by hand. It takes a lot of people to do that. Now, this is a real special place. 